Well, the search to find a missing five-year-old has turned into a daunting recovery mission at a couple landfills in South Carolina. Sumter police say a man confessed to killing Navia Adams and then tossing her body into a dumpster like garbage. But her family is hopeful Nav Navia is still alive. I don't believe our granddaughter is dead. I believe that she's alive somewhere and God's going to bring her back to us. So I'm asking right here now on national TV mm -hmm. that we all pray yes. and ask God to bring her back to us. I believe that she's alive somewhere and I'm not going to give up on that. And we're going to keep searching for her. Sumter police are searching two landfills right now for her. And we're talking thousands of pounds of garbage they're having to go through to find her little body only five years old. Fox Carolina's Margaret Ann Carter has more on the heartbreaking search efforts underway in the Midlands. Sumter police are uncovering hair raising and heartbreaking new details in the disappearance of five year old Nevaeh Adams. And they say this man, Dante Johnson, holds the key. During the course of the interview, at the same time we were contacting our partners at the state law enforcement division in order to have dialogue with them relative to an Amber Alert. And while we were talking uh, with the state law enforcement division representative, Mr. Johnson admitted to killing both. Police Chief Russell Rourke says an Amber Alert wasn't issued because Precious Nevaeh never even had a chance to go missing. Johnson confessed to killing the five-year-old and her mom, Sheree Bradley, before dumping her body in the trash. We determined that based on the timeline that we believe that uh, Miss Bradley was killed and located. That there was a, a timeline in there whereby the dumpster was taken from the, pro uh, taken from the property, dumped into a truck and replaced. But this new information isn't slowing down their exhaustive search for Nevaeh. Wednesday morning, they were back searching the apartment complex for anything that could help. We immediately contacted the county landfill, went out and located nine vehicles nine trucks that were scheduled to go to the transfer station in Richland County uh, at the Screaming Eagle landfill. According to police, this isn't Johnson's first run in with the law and not even the first time he's been accused of taking a life. This was a tragic event that took place in our community at the hands of an individual who was wanted for a homicide in another state and also has a history of a violence against women. So while Chief Work and his officers work to bring closure to this grieving family, there's a sense of peace knowing Johnson is behind bars, unable to kill again. Reporting in Greenville, Margaret Ann Carter, Fox Carolina News. Johnson is also being investigated, as you heard Margaret Ann talk about a homicide out of Missouri. Police say more charges are expected as this investigation continues.